Happy Valentine's Day, everyone! Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the couple of gifts that I got on Valentine's Day. So these couple of gifts, we actually picked out together. Usually hubby does an amazing job in surprising me, but this year, especially for one of the items, I wanted to go pick it and you will know why when I do show it to you. So I just want to wish all of you a happy Valentine's Day, whether you're celebrating with family, friends, or your loved ones. Really, Valentine's Day, it's just another day. It's nice to receive gifts and everything. Really, every day can be about love. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Mel. Thank you for joining me and seeing me unbox my Valentine's Day gifts. If you do like what you see, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanted to join my YouTube family, all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button. And if you want to be notified each time I upload, you just click that bell. Anyway, let's get started and I'll show you the very first item that I got. So let's start off with this a black and white box. Yes, Gucci. And for those of you that have watched my 2018 wish list, if you haven't, I will link it above. This item was on that wish list. And the box is a little bit deceiving because it's not that big, but it was the only box they have and I'll take it because I'm a sucker for packaging. So let's open it up. Of course, the beautiful black ribbon, and they've done it in a double knot, so just don't mind me while I quickly open this up. Okay. To reveal something in here. Did you see a peek already? And yes, I bought, well, we bought the Gucci orange tea. Now, I remember asking you guys, and I showed you this on my wish list. And I think for the most part, most of you were like, yeah, Mel, go for the orange. It's really different. And some of you were like, mm, I still prefer the black and white. And I know, I know black and white is so much easier to match, but I really wanted something fun. And, you know, Gucci is a little bit crazy. And, you know, have you seen their designs? I mean, some of it's a little bit too much, but I think for this t-shirt design, I mean, they've done it in black and white and some other colors, but I just wanted something really fun. And for those of you that are interested in this tea, I will link it in the description bar below as well, but it actually comes from their men's section and I will try it on. So tell, tell me your honest thoughts. It's okay. I don't mind constructive criticism because look, we're all different and our tastes are different. So I think that's really healthy and I think it's really normal that we like and dislike different things. So let me tell you, the size that I bought is actually the men's extra small and it is supposed to be an oversized t-shirt. So as you can see on me, it's a little oversized, but it's not that oversized. And do you know the cool thing about this t-shirt? My son can actually fit into it as well. So we are going to share it. And yeah, I just love the color. I, I like this sort of you know, vintage -y sort of print. I think it was like a, a bootleg sort of design from ages ago. Don't quote me. If you guys know, do let me know in the comments below. But yeah, it was just supposed to be a little bit of fun. So that is the first item that I got for Valentine's Day. And the second item that he got me for Valentine's Day, which we went to the boutique together. And you will know why when I show you the bag, well, Actually, in the cover picture, you would have seen the bag. But yes, it is from Van Cleef and Arpels. I hope I pronounced that right. I think so. But I'm just going to call it VCA for short. Now, again, this was an item that was on my wish list. And it is my first fine jewelry purchase. I mentioned in my wish list that... I love, you guys know how much I love Chanel earrings and costume jewelry. As I said, it's all costume jewelry. And this was the year I really wanted to start investing in fine jewelry pieces. Fine jewelry pieces are things I think that you can just pass down from generation to generation. So I hope this gets passed down to Miss S and Miss S will pass it down and so forth. So the very first item I've picked is in this gorgeous box. It is a really nice quality bag. As I said, I've never bought anything from 
Van Cleef before and it does come with this really thick booklet and inside this booklet there is you know the care uh, care guide and also uh, so the certificate of authenticity so it comes with that and also I mean even the receipt you know is very thick and anyway very very nice quality and the sales associate there was absolutely lovely yeah could not fault the customer service absolutely great and she was so kind like she actually gave me this coffee table book i mean this is a heavy book i haven't opened it as you guys can see and it is just going to be great because i don't know a lot about this brand and so the art of science of gems so you know what i'm actually going to open up really quickly and show you what's on the inside because i don't know either so just give me one second Okay, let's have a look at this book together because I don't know what's in here. Oh wow, it is just pictures and pictures. I don't know if you guys can see, oh well actually there's words, of all the beautiful designs. I mean, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but a lot of the Van Cleef sort of designs are inspired by nature. So that's why you see like a lot of animals and you see a lot of like flowers and things like that. So. This is such a beautiful, or well, there's some gems in here too. This is such a beautiful uh, book. And as you can see, I'm struggling a bit because it is super heavy. This was such a nice gift, especially since it was my first purchase from the brand. And what I wanted to show you is I'm going to insert some footage because I know there isn't that many videos uh, about this brand on YouTube. And just to show you some sort of eye candy and to show you a couple of the items that I tried, my goodness, uh, it is a, I can understand why people are obsessed about this brand and they just collect the pieces because the quality is beautiful and yeah, very dangerous as I said, but it's it's going to be something that if I do add more and more, it would be a process, not like straight away. But let me show you some of the eye candy. these not sure if hubby likes them but what do you guys think it's the magic alumbra stud and then this is the three motifs so this is the two motif version in the mother of pearl hey guys so i just came out of van cleef i am so excited to share with you my first ever purchase it was such an amazing experience i can't wait to tell you all about it and unbox this beauty with so, yay! so I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of footage. Can you guess what I picked? Now, in terms of Van Cleef, they've been around for a long, long time as well. As I said, I'm very new to the brand, but I've known about the brand for quite a number of years. It's just that I was sort of happy with my costume jewelry, but it is actually a French uh, brand. And I think the first boutique opened in 1906. So they've been around for a long, long time. Let me just get to it and show you what I got. You probably can guess. And it is in this white box with this 
pretty sort of green ribbon and I'm really excited because I've been wanting to add something from this brand to my collection. This year was the year, so my hubby was great saying, well, this will be a perfect Valentine's Day gift. That's why we, you know, I had to go and try it on because I've never ever tried any of their things on before. Okay, so it's in this box. Okay, so it's a beautiful, beautiful suede box. And I bought, ta-da! So these are earrings. They are called the Magic Lumber Earrings in the color Malachite or Malachite. Not sure how you pronounce it, but it's a beautiful emerald green. For those of you that have been following me for a while, you know I love this color. You also know my very first Birkin is in this color, the Malachite color. And I wasn't sure, to be honest, on my wishlist video, I was like, oh, should I get Malachite? Should I get the Mother of Pearl? Should I get, what color should I get? So I tried, as you saw from the footage, a few styles on and ultimately I ended up going with this one. Now, just to give you a little bit of information, in terms of these earrings, they come in three sizes. This one here is the Magic, so they're the largest stud. Then it comes in Vintage, which is the medium. The Vintage is the one they're more known for, and that's the one that was inspired, I think, by their collection in 1968, so that's been around much longer. Don't quote me, but I think the Magic was only introduced like in 2006-ish. And then so magic, big, vintage, medium, and then sweet is the smallest motif. So they're the really tiny, super cute ones, and they just didn't really suit my earlobes. And for any of you that are interested in purchasing from this brand, you really got to go to the store. They do allow you to try the earrings on, as you can see. And yeah, they come in the three different sizes. And as I said, this is the magic, and it comes in the single stud version. You saw me try on the two motif versions. They come in a three motif versions. This comes in like bracelets, necklaces. There is just a lot. But I would say they're probably most known for the this sort of four leaf clover design, especially the vintage. But I just love the magic and I just loved how it looked on my earlobe. And I'll just insert another picture again here, which is from the boutique. And yeah, when I tried them on and you know when I tried them on and my husband said, you just had this really, really big smile on your face. I was like, yep, this is the one. And I'm an earring person, as you guys can see. And I get a lot of questions from you guys saying, oh, do you own any Cartier or anything like that? No, I don't. So that's why you always see bare wrists. I only tend to wear my uh, wedding band and my engagement ring. And occasionally I wear, you know, rings, but I'm quite bare. So earrings are my thing. And yeah, I'm just so wrapped at this color. I just think it is stunning. And I guess you would say this is very high end. So I guess they would be like the Hermes of jewelry. So it is fine jewelry. And yeah, I just love it to death. So I'm just so, so happy I can add this beautiful heirloom piece to my collection. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my quick unboxing of the two items that I was lucky enough to get for Valentine's Day. But as I said, Valentine's Day is just a day. So I just wanted to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day once again. Much love to you all. Big kisses. Have a wonderful day or night and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.